thank you, Jan, for inviting me. Uh, it was a bit of a challenge uh, when I saw the title you would like uh, to talk to me about it, uh, New Roles of Invents. Uh, I have not understood what you have said the last half an hour. I hope it's not in total contradictory what I will say about the future. But uh, let me start with uh, these slides. You have already heard that. Uh, Chesnet got uh, some great grade A, it was evaluated and uh, was very successful. My congratulations to all the Chess staff as well. But what does that mean? I would like to start with that. Now we are in a very settled position. You obviously do a good job. You obviously get your money for the next four years. So you are in a good position. Why the hell should you think about new roles? You have, you have find your role. And I would like to take you to a little bit of story. We are at Switch In. I often say NRENS here, and normally means switch. Uh, the question we pose ourselves is the following. Are we as national education? Is that better? Yes. Thank you. Why are we as NWEN, why is Switch, why is Chestnut relevant in 10 years from now? The question is, are we relevant? I also uh, talked about why are we relevant? I would say, yes, we are relevant. That's why we're working for. But do we exactly know why we are relevant? What, is, what are the possibilities uh, of new roles? Are network important in 10 years? That will be uh, discussed by the following speaker. And set the question we are in, in the strategic development, the continuous strategic development of switch. What is our position? Why are we relevant in 10 years from now? 10 years is a long time in ICT. What is a short time? Uh, if you have to change your business, if you see your new opportunities, etc., etc. So, what will I, uh, uh, what will my talk be? I will give you some words about uh, Switch. I am standing here as uh, managing director of Switch. Uh, I'm not standing here in uh, my board role of Shio. I say nothing to Shio. All what I say is from my position. Uh, of switch. Where do we stand? A uh, little bit, uh, well, not history, but uh, one, two, uh, one, two slides about history mission. Where we think today our added value at switch is, uh, what is our strategy, our customers, some words about finances, then you perhaps get an a little bit an impression where similarities are between switch and chestnut and where differences are, there are differences. Then I come to the most difficult part. That is the ecosystem NRENs are in. And this ecosystem is the research, education, and their future development. If I want to think about new roles of an NREN, I always have to have in mind, what is the changing role? What are the changing needs of our universities? We are there for them. That's the most difficult part. A bit easier is uh, to make a kind of a positioning and end when normally is here. Uh, as that is valid for switch. Uh, you can judge by yourself whether that is valid for Chesnet as well. Where are our strengths and where are our weaknesses we have today? We do not only have strengths. Huh? Even if we do get the great day, we should know about our weaknesses and we should know about the threats we have. And there are. And then I will uh, finally uh, stop with some words about uh, 
possible changing rules. You will not uh, hear from me what the chestnut rule is in 10 years. I want to motivate you to think about that. I even do not know it, what the rule in 10 years for switch is. So. Uh, switch is uh, 31 year old. Uh, we were founded in uh, 1985. And what you read here is uh, part of yeah, our foundation. We have deed of foundation and this can hardly be changed. So we have also in 10 years to work according to that deed of foundation. If you would write it uh, today, you could write it exactly in the same uh, way as uh, 30 years uh, in the past. You will, you will change telecommunication by ICT. That's the old thing. But in writing that down, which meant 30 years ago, poorly networking and drawing cable from University A to B, it can mean and it uh, stays for a very, very different thing today. And I hope it will also stay in, uh, in 10 years. We have, I think, the same uh, core competencies than uh, Chestnut. We have a great transition in networking in security, in identity management, a little bit less experience in cloud computing. These are all hardcore technical things. And we are good in these things. Whether that is sufficient, I doubt. What is the added value of switch? I show in one of the two slides that we have to sell our services. We do not have a ministry deciding about 40 million uh, euros for the next year or for the next four years. We have to sell our services. And what is the value? What we propose and what we uh, give the universities? We see the value in three pillars. Uh, the last one is our integrated offer. That's what we do, right? come to that uh, a bit later. The first pillar we should not underestimate and is even more important in the future in my view is the community work we do. We do completely, we were completely different than a normal ICT company. All our services have to be developed with the community. We have to work with our universities together. We cannot have great ideas and nobody buys them. We have to work with the community. That gives you as a switch or as an Andan a very great insight into what the universities do by themselves. And that gives you, it gives us, you Chesnet as well, I'm, I'm sure, uh, a much broader knowledge and know. That brings you a community together. Often when we have meetings with our customers, the value is not only that we present our services and we discuss with them, they discuss together and they learn from each other. We should not underestimate the value of the community work we do on a daily basis within our community. And that we are a foundation is a, is a value as well. For me as a responsible manager, sometimes a very difficult value. Because I never really know, am I speaking now, you know, I'm speaking to a rector, do I speaking to him as a customer? Or do I speak him, to him as a shareholder or a stakeholder? Because he represents my upper body. It's not always easy, but I think for the community, that's a big value. Uh, I think the community works looking in the future, also in 10 years, I'm sure that the, our uh, legal framework as a foundation will stay. You have a different framework, that doesn't uh, matter, but that will stay. The community work, that will stay. It will become more and more intensive. And the integrated offer, what we really do, that may change. What is our integrated offer is uh, quite similar to... Uh, to, uh, to uh, to Chesnet, what we do not do, and Chesnet does, we have no own research. 
that's uh, part of our different history, our this different roots. We grew up from, uh, we do not own research. But we do the, uh, the network that was an identity security. We have uh, infrastructure and data services, uh, with another name, you name it, uh, grid and data services. We do a lot in procurement. Uh, we started to build up uh, a, dig a hub for digital solution and coordination services. Uh, before I have meant, uh, or I've said that network, security, trust and identity are purely technical things. I'm convinced we have to go a level up and we'll further uh, elaborate on that. And one thing is to build a, a digital hub to exchange uh, services in combination with uh, co uh, procurement. Video management and collaboration uh, is also at Chestnet. And we have the registry. We do the registry for two, top, two top, top level domains for .ch and .le. That's for Liechtenstein. Not that important, but I'm proud to have uh, two and not only one. And that is important uh, uh, for Switch. What our customers are, uh, the community, all the universities, uh, all type of uh, tertiary uh, education and research. We have a so-called extended community. These are uh, federal institute working uh, together with uh, the research and education sector. And we also have uh, third party customers and we are allowed to have third party customers. And these are very important. I say you uh, next slides why. Last uh, word about uh, the financing and then uh, all our services. And this is a big challenge, but I think it's an advantage. All our services to universities have to be paid by the universities. Hmm? They pay full cost. And if they're not happy with us, they have a great, uh, yeah, they have something in hand to make that change. So we have to sell our services. We do not get money from the ministry to do that. We have to sell the services. If we, have to, if we want to raise tariffs, and we do that, we have to argue, we have to provide value and to communicate with them. When I come to uh, the commercial customers, certainly that's, the, that's important. We want to make money out of them. Uh, we cannot cross subsidize uh, from university money the, the third party market, be that the, the registry or security services, whatever. And the important thing is what we earn here can be put directly in innovation. So the universities are not paying for innovations, they only pay for services. That makes us uh, uh, much more agile. If it comes to projects, we get some uh, money from uh, our state uh, uh, ministry. About, I told it yesterday to Jan, about 15% we of our to total turnover uh, with, with the higher education uh, field we get uh, from the ministry for uh, innovations, but that's by far not enough. The rest we earn by the registry. So, that's where we stand at Switch. Many similarities to Chestnet in what we're doing, uh, besides of research, some differences in financing, giving us perhaps a, a different standing, uh, a little bit different standing when we work in, uh, with the communities. Now to the most <coughs> difficult, but also the most important part of my talk. If I want if we at Switch, if everyone wants to think about our future, we have also to think about the future of our universities. What is their standing in 10 years? By what are these universities driven? Why? It's uh, very simple. We have uh, we all our national education and research networks, and research and network, that's our ecosystem we are in. We have to know what's 
their moves are. We have to know, that would be very easy if somebody comes to you and says, ah, Mr. Dudley, here is the nice paper, our needs in 10 years. Go ahead and be prepared. That would be heaven on earth. But uh, things are not like that. Normally they do even by themselves, not knowing what they, or normally, what they will need. But we, nevertheless, we have to think about that. That's what we are there for. What we do is networks. I don't, uh, I don't make a claim here to change our name to uh, national research and education, something else than networks, but networks is what we were there. But we can, you have to seen that in our data foundation, we can uh, much widely interpret. That's not a problem. And national, is that really the scope we have in the future? Can we all do nationally? Chesnet is very well linked to uh, all the international uh, uh, infrastructures, to, is very present. Is it possible to have uh, this standing in 10 years in only working national? What has to go on the international part? So, but first of all, the environments have to be relevant. Uh, we, if we ask, are we relevant? The question is, we have to be relevant. For the, uh, for the institutions in research and education. And we tried to get an answer last year of that. And uh, that was uh, an interesting story. We tried to get an answer. What, that was in the title, Future University on the future of education and research. We have a 80 page uh, document that for that, unfortunately only in German and French, but uh, if you want it, you can download it. We have a poster for that. Uh, I have some examples here. If you want to have one, you can download it from that slide. And this was a surprising thing. Some of our community were enthusiastic about that. Ah, they think about their future. Are they were very angry about it. Why the hell does Switch ask what the university should do in 10 years? That is the job of the universities. We had both. But why we did that, we think, as we said, we are an inter integral part of this uh, academic community. And the important thing is, uh, okay, you, I hope you can read it, uh, we see us as an en enabler. And we see us as an enabler in developing new positions for research and education as well. So if we do not know what they are driven by, we cannot be enabled. And the most important thing, all what we do, technology, that should be aligned with the requirements of research and education and not the other way around. And that's the way why we took the freedom to ask this question really not belonging to our core business. Different reactions. If you are interested, you can uh, download uh, this poster and uh, uh, if you are interested in German and French reading, I have uh, more documentation. Now, what is the result? Can we use the result? I'm happy with the results. But uh, the work for Switch is still to be done. We have no, some idea how, how research and development will, uh, research and education will develop in the next 10 years. The meaning for Switch has to be elaborated. We are in the thinking process and I can give you some, some uh, ideas about that. Uh, how much time I have? Five minutes. Only five minutes. Oh, I have to go quickly. So, well, I, I want to speak about the new roles then, right? Okay. <laughs> no. But what uh, they did, they told, uh, we have uh, worked and uh, thought about the drivers of change in universities. What would that mean? We could do uh, some fields of actions. Field of actions for the universities. This field of actions are still pending for switch. Um, I go very quickly now to these, um, these slides. This is really not nothing surprising for you, what the drivers uh, of change are, uh, flexibilization, individualization, digitalization, all these things. 
These are pure uh, passwords, but uh, we have uh, thought about uh, what that really then means. Some theses uh, we have in research and education, and we came to different areas of action. And all the area of actions in dark blue we see as possible areas for switch to find new roles. Uh, for example, lifelong learning and further education has a direct relation to what you do in trust and identity today. We see a lot of opportunities in collaboration and exchange of information. That's one core business of the NRENs, but on a much higher level than on the TCPIP layer. Security. We have a good tradition in security and secure infrastructures. In 10 years, I'm sure we will secure whole business processes of research and education. Everybody says data is the new oil. What does that mean for research data? And what does that mean for national research data of uh, our respective countries? I haven't now talked about the new roles and I want to dive a little bit deeper. When we have this huge, uh, we have this changing environment, we also should uh, think about where are we today? Where are we strong? Where are we weak? And this SWOT analysis is, I have given them the title NRENS. Don't take that too serious. It's the SWOT analysis of switch. But I think most of these elements are true for many endwords. So we have big, big strengths. I can't uh, go through all of them, but your grade A, meaning confidence of your research and education customers, the confidence of your national government, is a great, great strength. We have a good proven track record. We can build upon that. But in my view, normally our business models are not really sustainable. Business models from four to four years uh, are for me not the way to go. What we are weak, switch is weak in really systematic stakeholder management. We are extremely experienced to talk with the technical people in the universities. We are not experienced to talk with the management of the universities. And when we go, when we think we want, we want to take our journey for the next three years, this is important. So, some strengths and weaknesses and changes and threats. There are a lot of changes. Uh, increasing uh, importance of search, search solutions. I've heard that uh, also from the uh, welcome message for the ministries. One ministry is important. Uh, Cybercrime, another uh, thing. But let's talk about a little bit about the threats. The heterogeneity of our customers in Switzerland is a threat for us. We have to address it. My smallest customer is 100 times, my biggest customer is 100 times bigger than the smallest one. That is a challenge. Unified solutions will become a challenge. We have to address that. Uh, don't forget the commercial providers. They are come into the endwind market. We have to address that. Cyber attacks, whatever. So, changing roles. I have three slides for the changing roles. First of all, we should come from a leadership in applying technology to a leadership in creating collaborative, shared business solution. We have to move one step, two steps up in the value chain from technology, not doing a, not missing to do the job there. 
but to come one to two level up. One idea, combine network, security, trust and identity, storage and compute. I could uh, also read communication infrastructure, data storage, cloud and grid computing, multimedia infrastructure. Combine that to seamless solutions for researchers in the field of open science and open access. Could be a role of the advance. Collaboration, nationwide collaboration in, in education. Having in mind that education does not mean a curricula of three years, but means a curricula or means lifelong learning. Another thing, what we should change our role, we should do much more together than we do today. Probably we are good in collaborating in one country. Also said as a member of Chéon, one statement, we are not good in collaborating over the border. We are good in network and that's it. I think we need new stakeholder management, new communication approach. We need much more marketing. This is a, a word not often here or uh, not, not loved in many environments. We need much more marketing. Uh, we need much more clear position, uh, new business models. And we have to stay an enabler. But we have to start to become also an integrator from services to solutions. And the network, that's not my, <laughs> my topic. I think the academic network remains important, but it's not sufficient for a healthy future of an environment. That's my convention. What we can do in the network, that's uh, your talk. Uh, some ideas here, many more to do. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, are there any questions from the audience? Not at the moment. We are actually a little bit running out of the time, but I Sorry. have one question because you have been talking a lot about uh, the importance of the cooperation uh, among organizations, universities, etc. But there is quite an interesting topic, which is, uh, I would say, hot in the media at the moment, and that's the international or university espionage. How do you... Uh, how does it go together, you know, like cooperation, but at the same time, this threat of, uh, uh, of cyber espionage? Or do you deal with that? I mean, is it, is it something you, you, you find uh, uh, of an importance? It's, that is a, of a great importance and is also a very good challenge for the environment. See, collaboration between the universities and industry will become much denser in the future. They will, they will themselves collaborate much more. That could mean um, we have to think about integrating also industries in our services because the universities need that. So, the room for spionage and all these things will grow. We have to address that and we can have to address that uh, if we come with our expertise in security, perhaps in business management, and come to work with the universities to a higher level of information security management. And that's the way we can see, or the universities can see, what kind of information they have where, and what kind of protection they do need. So we will have also in future to live with the fact that the university networks are open and the universities are a well-known, attractive, attractive goal for cyber criminalists. We know that. We have started in Switch, uh, it's a uh, one and a half year now, with a very interesting working group in information security management. Bringing the knowledge together, sharing what we do, finding best practices, and implement that uh, in all the universities. So it's a challenge for us. We have to address it, but that the collaboration between industry and uh, uh, 
the higher educational research that, that will become much more intensive today than it is today. Thank you. Uh, aren't there any questions from the audience? Not at the moment. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Andreas Dudler.